Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is called Estimating Volume. Okay, so our comma core strand is very similar to the other one. So how can we use an everyday object to estimate the volume of a rectangular prism? Okay, so here you guys, we have a crayon box that has a length of four inches. So here's a, um, whoops, you can't see that. So I know what I'll do, I'll just, okay, now you can see it. So the length is one, two, three, four. So this is four. This is three, so uh, and the height is one, so the volume of this box, you can just count up the cubes. There's 12 cubes right here, so there's 12 cubic inches in that. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, uh, we're going to pack these into a big box, so it's kind of hard to see. This big box is a big invisible box right here, so I don't know if you can see the kind of invisibleness of this box right here. So this big box is going to hold all these crayon boxes that are these these guys right here. Now the big box is a little bit more than the volume of all these boxes because it has to hold them in there. So we can estimate the volume of this big box by finding the volume of all these boxes right here. Okay, so it says here the large box holds um, uh, the large box holds a bunch of crayon boxes. Okay, so use the crayon box to hold the volume of the large box. Okay, so um, uh, crayon boxes each of, okay, what am I saying? I forgot what I was saying there. Four crayon boxes. How come I'm getting four crayon boxes? I'm getting the large box holds more than four crayon boxes. Okay, so I see where I'm getting four from. So the four is this right here. Sorry, I built this lesson two days ago and I built a bunch more and I kind of forgot. So here's four crayon boxes. You see that? Okay, four crayon boxes each of how many layers are there? So here's one layer, here's two layers, three layers, four layers, five layers. So each, uh, so there's uh, four crayon boxes in five layers right there, okay? And then, um, or how many total boxes? So if we do four times five, because there's four boxes in five layers, so four times five gives us 20 crayon boxes right there. All right, I'm back on the picture here. So now we're going to multiply the volume of, of one box, which is this guy right here. The volume of one box is 12 cubic inches times how many boxes are in here. There's 20 total boxes in here. So we're going to multiply 12 times 20 right there, okay? And 12 times, I know 12 times 2, whoops, you can't see that. So, um, uh, so 12 times 2 is 24, so 12 times 20 is 24 to 0, so 240. So the volume of the big box is about 240 cubic inches, and it's probably a little bit more because it's going to hold all those crayons, and I know the crayons consist of 240, and the big box is a little bit bigger, So, but it's about 240 cubic inches right there. Okay, so here we got a bunch of tissue boxes right here, so I see um, a whole bunch of tissue boxes. So um, uh, it says each tissue box has a volume of 125 cubic inches, okay? There are uh, how many tissue boxes in the large box right here? Okay, so it looks like I see three here, three here, that's six. Three more is, is uh, nine, but it looks like there's, I'm seeing two stacks of them, you guys. So I don't know, maybe I thought I saw two stacks, but maybe there's only one stack, but I'm, I, I'm, this lesson, I pretend like there's a little line going right there, and there's two stacks. I didn't see that until right now. So so I'm getting 18 total boxes. If there's only one stack, then there'd be nine total boxes. Either case, we're going to multiply the number of boxes times the volume of one box, which is 125. Here I'm going to multiply 18 times 125. It might be 9 times 125. I don't know if I, I just can't see that in my old 57-year-old uh, eyes. That's how old I am. Um, I just probably overlooked that right there. Okay, so I'm going to multiply 18 times 125. Your teacher might want you to do 9 times 125. Okay, so 18 times 125. Okay, 125 is 100 plus 20 plus 5 right there. So now I'm going to distribute um, that uh, 18 through. So 18 times 100 is 1,800, okay, and then 18 times 2 is 36, so 18 times 20 is 360. 18 times 9 is, um, is or times uh, 5 is 90, so there's 1,800, 360, 90, so if I add all those up right there, 
I'm going to go ahead and add these columns so I get zero right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add these. So I'm going to put a zero right there first. And then six plus nine is 15. So I'm going to put a five down there and put a one up there. Do you remember how we carry that right there? Don't give up on your on your skills. You guys can do this. You guys, I know you don't like to, but you guys can. All right. So um, now I'm, I'm just my high school kids are doing the same thing. So one plus eight is nine. Nine plus three is twelve. So I'm going to put a two right there. Carry another one. Okay. So I get that. And then one plus one is two. So the volume I'm seeing is 2,250 cubic inches. Now, if it was only nine boxes, just cut that in half, you guys. Okay. All right. How about this guy right here? So Ginger uses pudding boxes to estimate the volume of the large box. The volume of each box, each pudding box, is 150 cubic inches. So estimate the volume of the whole box with all those pudding boxes. Okay, so how many boxes are in each row? Okay, so what I'm going to do is just count them up. So here's one, two, three, four, plus another four. So there's eight boxes in, in each row. Okay, and then how many rows there are? This is kind of hard to see also. I'm seeing one, two, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm seeing six right there. Did I get seven? Oh my goodness. My, my old eyes. Let's see. Let's see if I'm getting it right or uh, wrong here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, let's pretend like there's seven. Sorry. Sorry. Otherwise I got to redo this lesson and I'm running out of time. We're on the coronavirus thing and we got to go out and run some errands before the, the, the crowd gets out. So Let's take our dogs for a walk. They kind of live out in the country. So let's pretend like there's seven. Sorry. So eight times seven is going to be uh, 56 boxes. So if each box is 150, then I do 56 times 150. So I'm going to do 56 is 50 plus six. And watch this trick, you guys. And then 150 is 100 plus 50. So I'm going to go ahead and move this 50 through 50 times 100. 50 times 50. Watch this, you guys. Okay, so there's 50 times 100 is 5,000. 50 times 50. Well, 5 times 5 is 25, so add those two zeros. And then we'll go downstairs and multiply the 6. So the 6 goes times 100 is 600. 6 times 50. 6 times 5 is 30, so add a 0. So we're going to add those numbers up. Okay, the zeros are no problem. Now I'm going to go ahead and add these guys up right here. So 0 plus 5 is 5, plus 6 is 11, 12, 13, 14. So I'll carry the 1 down there and the 1 right up, I'm sorry, the 4 down there and the 1 up there. And then so we get 8,400 cubic units. All right, sorry about my goofy mistakes. Hey, if you can, tell your groovy teacher hello for me. Take care.